Good wipe your bum. Good job, Olive. Good job, Olive. Woohoo, good job, Olive. Olive, good job, Olive. Good job, good wipe your bum, Olive. Good wipe your bum, Olive. Good wipe your bum. Good wipe your bum, Olive. Good wipe your bum. I was like, oh man, another time. But yeah, she's done this now twice in a row this morning. Well, not twice in a row. This is the second time she's done it in the last 10 minutes. So uh, just a few minutes ago, she did it. And I was thinking, oh, man, that'd be great. Hi, Juby baby. That'd be great if uh, she didn't show up because she heard me saying good wife your bones. She thought something was happening. So we're giving love. It's now good job, Ollie. So how I'm teaching Olive to wipe her bum is that um, she's done it once now before, twice today. But this time once after I, you got it on the camera you got it right after when she was smelling as a you here and eating but I'm ignoring all of now even though she's trying to go on I'll go go I'll go I'm ignoring all of because what's happening is um the way I'm doing it uh, and I did it with Junior too one time already hi Junior I did it maybe that's why Junior comes she's smart but who knows why Junior showed up she could have heard her say oh wipe your bum I gotta wipe my bum but um I'm teaching all of Junior how to wipe their bum um one of the other videos I've got all of uh, just shows it and this one you can see how all of or how a, what a dog does after they're done wiping their bum on your carpet. Uh, they'll turn around and they'll smell it and be like, "Okay, did I get it all?" And I'm just kind of like checking your toilet paper. So turning around and, <laughs> and wiping your bum on carpet is like toilet paper. Uh, checking your toilet paper after your human wipes their bum um, uh, on the toilet or at the toilet. So uh, again, doggy toilet paper is what we're looking at. But more importantly, what we're doing is we're taking a command um, for a behavior that we don't really appreciate uh, with dogs pooping and stuff and they don't really wipe their bum. So I'm sure they get a little bit irritated. So they'd like to go wipe their bum and they've got other stuff going on back there that maybe you'd like to itch. So, um, you know, just like this, like a junior will go to sleep with my little my little ear rub here. Ha oh, ha, junior does that, junior man, junior man, ha oh, oh, ha oh. ha. So anyways, um, that's uh, how you how you uh um how i think anyways what we're looking at is uh, i'm going to teach them to wipe their bum to stop wiping their bum i don't like them wiping their bum on the carpet that means i gotta go over there and clean it and stuff that means if they do wipe their bum and they put that scent there that means that's their toilet come here junior be nice what are you doing that so um anyways we uh we're practicing wiping your bum uh because everybody should wipe their bum in the proper way or in the proper place so but see now that I'm gonna have to keep them from wiping their bum where they want oh junior man oh that's a spot that's a spot that's a spot oh god that's a spot don't lean too much in or we'll all fall over um and uh oh junior I can't get enough of that she says I can't get enough of that junior oh junior man oh it's okay I'll get off of here um and uh it's okay means a few different things to them they have to it's an it's okay is one thing and then whatever the command is is another. So anyways, um I don't after I say good job then I ignore them. Uh I, I praise them and yeah, I ignore them because I don't want them to get that confused with any other thing they're doing. So right as soon as I see them doing it, um, to the point where they uh they don't um you know, where they um shoot. Right as soon as I see them doing it. I don't know, second in, or I don't want to do it right away to where they're stopping doing it because I have I started doing it and I uh, ruined it because I did it too quick. I want to do it towards the end of it so they know, oh, good job of what I just did. But in that case, I uh, I was trying to film it, so the good job came a little bit longer, but then uh, again, that gives me a, another thing to look at is maybe should I get the good job when they're doing the the smell and the check, you know, the check and the, to see if they got everything. Maybe I should do it then, because uh, that's when they're thinking good job. So maybe that's when I should tell them good job. So you really have to start looking at what works for your dog and um, what they are trying to tell you. Oh, Junior, look at this shed. And, uh, junior shed, and of course, so you can see see how much hair we get around here. Um, I don't normally do it like this, but when I when I start seeing it coming up like this, I usually break out the comb. I don't also let me do it. Uh, where's the comb? I just had got two of them. Here's one. Come on, Junior. Come on, Jibby. Okay, here's one. Let's see what we can get on it here. Alright, let's see. So the junior's just shedding. Well, this is a big shed part back here. This is this part shouldn't shed a lot on top. You see that? Now watch how much I got there. Hold on, Junior. 
Watch when I get back here. Back where her little extra fur is around her leg area. And she likes me getting this. This is where we do car wash. This is where she slows up on the car washes back here in the leg area. Um, but watch right here. I just did that little leg area there. So it's hard to watch and film and do things and make sure the dog's comfortable and everything. So, um, well, I didn't get anything else. Okay. That didn't work, but maybe if I went over the top, maybe I should just clear it out and see what I get in one. Why don't we just clear this? Why don't we just stop this so we can stay on one subject as we do it? But I like to show as much as I can. Um, for our natural dog type behavior that we have going on here. Um, see, Junior doesn't always like to get combed out. She'll take off after one or two combings. Whoops. She'll take off after one or two combings sometimes. Um, Dale loves it. Um, and again, that's that's uh, Dale's pacifier over here. Let me get out of the way, Dale. We're cleaning up for the night. Oh, it's morning time now. Um, sorry. Uh, sorry. <laughs> Just filming, filming, filming here. So, uh, Dale looks like he's starting to put himself to sleep with his pacifiers here. That's what he'll do sometimes. He'll just do that until he puts himself to sleep. It's like a little baby. He whines sometimes and sucks on his little pacifier. He's just a big baby at heart, my big man is. So, he's my big lovey guy. He likes to come over and give me gloves. Uh, Dale's got a shaky leg, but uh, he's a good man. And he'll do anything for me. I'll do anything for him too. He's my big man, Dale Dale. Um, I, I've come to the conclusion that this behavior right here is a pacifier, so that's his vice. We, you know, we, uh, I, I give it to him. All dogs need something to go to. All humans have something to go to. So, anyways, that's a little bit about wiping your butt with my dogs. Thanks.